Hey everybody, it's Ty Inspire and welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, please consider subscribing. Please, please, please join the family. I know you're gonna love it. You can check out this video, check out some other videos, see if you enjoy this content and join us here as we talk about travel and lifestyle and lots of inspiration, yeah okay all right so i know i know i know i have been kind of in and out uh maybe since around december but i have some explaining to do and i'm gonna do a little bit of that today so you'll kind of understand what i've been up to i'm gonna give you some life updates so sit back and relax i got my tea so i'm gonna grab my tea and we're gonna talk we're gonna talk so Let's get it started. This is good. I'm having strawberry tea, guys, with some honey. It's pretty good. Mm. <laughs> okay. All right, where do we start? Oh, goodness. Where do we start? Lots to say. First of all, around October, November, that's probably when I started really going in and out with YouTube. Um, not intentionally. First thing that happened, big thing, was that I moved, okay? So I moved to the whole other side of Accra. <laughs> and um, so it's it's definitely been a change for me. And it's been a good change though. Things are going well, everything's good. But um, yeah, so the first thing was the move. And what came along with the move is that I started working in a school here, yes. So I don't know if I've ever even talked about this on this channel, but I am a teacher, educator um, by profession, and I've been an educator all my life, pretty much. And I do a lot of other things in addition to teaching or educating. So um, I decided to give it a shot with the school systems here in Ghana, just because for, for, for the main purpose of wanting to make a difference, wanting to help um, with change and progression moving forward. I feel like how can you really you know, expect change if you're not gonna be a part of that change? So I decided to go ahead and give it a go. So I am working at a school with the preschool department um, helping to develop curriculum and supporting the staff of teachers there with curriculum development and merging, okay? So um, yeah, it's, it's good. It's good, things are going good and I'm happy to be making a difference in this way. So yeah. So the move, the job, what else? The next one is guys, my hair. Have you noticed my hair? I don't know, you, you may have noticed in the last couple few videos I have done, but I locked my hair, yes. So I decided to go on this lock journey. I literally, I have been talking about it and talking about it and talking about it forever, okay? And so finally, I decided to go ahead and do it. And because I couldn't find, I won't say I couldn't find, it just felt right to me to do it myself. I know my own hair. I've always been that girl to do my own hair. Literally, I've literally, since I was a child, I started doing my own hair and that's what I've always done. And so I was like, with this, why shouldn't I? I should just go ahead and do it myself. I had looked at several different places, talked to several different people, researched all of this stuff. I actually found a couple people and um, that I was interested in going with to install them for me. But then at the last minute, I was just like, no, I'm gonna install them myself. Yep, I'm gonna do it myself. So I knew it wasn't gonna be an easy job, but I thought that it would be 
a good part of the journey. Like this was like the start of the journey for me to do this. So it's, it's more than just a hairstyle, but it's, it's a lifestyle basically. So I installed them on December the 16th. And so now I am three months in, almost four months in, and I'm loving it. They are progressing pretty well. I'm very happy with them so far and I'm looking forward to more growth and it's definitely teaching me patience um, and it's just teaching me to kind of go with the flow. I've always been kind of particular about how my hair looks and so I don't have a whole lot of control with these locks. Yeah, so some, some things I don't like about them and I'm like, oh God, what am I gonna do? You know, what about this, what about that? But it's just like, you know what? Just let it go, let it do its thing and you just enjoy it. <laughs> that's it, <laughs> that is it. So that's where I'm at. I hope you like them. Hey, leave me a comment and let me know what do you think about my locks, my micro locks, yeah. And um, if you have any tips, if you are someone that has locked your hair or you have locks and you have any tips for me, please let me know. Your girl is experiencing dryness and uh, what else? A lot of frizziness. I know that's a part of the process, but I don't know. I don't think this kind of frizziness is. But let me know. Let me know in the comments what you think. Okay. So we have that. What else do we have? Oh, so now, starting March the 1st, I began doing a fast called the Daniels Fast. So, hold that thought. I don't know if you're familiar with this fast, but let me tell you a little bit about it. So it is a fast that a lot of Christians do. So most of you may know about it or some of you may know about it. I shouldn't say most, I'm sorry. Some of you may know about it from church. That's how I learned about it. I started doing it many, many years ago through church. Usually we would do it in the beginning of the year around January. And um, it's basically just eating fruits and vegetables, beans, legumes, uh, lentils, nuts. Um, that's it. That's pretty much it. <laughs> it's easier to say what you can eat on this fast than what you can't eat. And so I've always done it for spiritual reasons. But this time, well, no, I'll say maybe the last three times I did it, it wasn't just for spiritual reasons. So um, I wanted to, I was just feeling really crappy, honestly, my body, just crappy, just tired all the time, uh, just achy, I don't know, so many different symptoms that I was having and I couldn't really explain why I was having these symptoms. So I figured, I said, you know, this fast is gonna be the thing I need to do, it's gonna help just kind of clean my body out basically so i wanted to do that and yes so this is day 20 25 this is day 25 guys so i have been fasting and i feel amazing i cannot explain to you that this is like if you are ever looking for some type of cleansing this is the way to go um, it's also very good for spiritual purposes as well, of course, because I think that's the whole purpose of it. But um, I think both of them combined is, is just a great combination. Do it. Please do it. I mean, you get results so fast. Within the first three days, I would say I started seeing results immediately. I started feeling differently. I started noticing different things. Some of the symptoms that I was having just started to disappear and go away. So it is just an awesome fast. And 25 days later, I still feel great. I feel even better, <laughs> okay? And um, yeah, it's going really, 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 really good. Um, it's tough. Let me tell you, it's a not easy at all. Um, but I will say you will find so many reasons not to do it because you'll think, oh, it's going to be too expensive. Oh, I don't like vegetables. Oh, you know, whatever. You'll find so many excuses. But I challenge you, if you just do it, just try it. Just jump in, 
say I'm gonna do it. Um, typically, this fast is 21 days. So typically just know 21 days. I've never done it for 31 days before. Was <laughs> what I've done it now. So um, I've only ever done it for 21 days. Now, so I say if you're gonna do it and it's your first time, definitely only do it for 21 days. Um, it is very restrictive. Like I told you what you can have. Um, so because of that, your body is being depleted of things that it also needs. Okay, so this is not a permanent fast. It's not something that you wanna stay on forever. You wanna do it and come off of it um, because you, are, you still need certain things that you, your body needs certain things that you're not getting through this fast. So I will make that disclaimer. Um, be very careful and pay close attention to your body during the fast too. And if you ever need to come off of it, just come off of it. Yeah, but I definitely recommend it. Um, and if you have dietary restrictions already, you know, do what you can. Substitute whatever you need to do to make it comfortable for you, as comfortable as it can be. But it's tough. It's not easy. You have to get creative. You have to be okay with maybe eating the same things a lot once you find what you like that you can have. But man, it's worth it. The benefits are worth it. And now, of course, I'm looking to make permanent lifestyle changes as it relates to my eating, my eating habits. So yeah, I'm feeling great. I think I'm looking great too. Hey, hey. <laughs> so, you know, go, guys, go ahead and tell me what you think about it. Have you done it before? Would you like to do it? You know, I'll be a support if I can. I'm happy to give you some advice, some tips. Um, if you've done it before, let me know your experiences and how it worked out for you. That's the tea on that. <laughs> okay, let me see what else I'm supposed to talk to you guys about. A few things here. Okay, the obvious thing, hey. Um, so I have now been in Ghana for two years, over two years now actually. Uh, two years was February the 4th, February 4th made two years. And how do I feel? I feel pretty amazing, honestly. I can't believe that, <laughs> I can't, sometimes I still can't believe I'm here. It was so unexpected and, uh, but, it has just been pretty amazing. I have grown in so many ways. I have encountered so much. Oh God, I've been so frustrated and I've been so happy and I've been so, so many things. Ah, I'm even getting emotional and I didn't expect that. But um, it has been truly a journey, but I think I've adjusted pretty well and um, I'm enjoying it still just the same. Ghana is hard if you have not, um, if you're thinking about moving here and um, planning and considering, please take your time in considering and considering and know what you're getting into and know that yes, lights out is the thing. You know, sometimes we don't have power. Sometimes we don't have water. Um, you know, sometimes things are just gonna be harder for you, um, especially if you're coming from the West we have a lot of conveniences in the West that you're not gonna get here. Um, there are many things to consider, but I will say, though it's hard, it has been extremely rewarding and I have enjoyed every second of it, even the tough times, I've enjoyed every second of it. I wouldn't trade it for the world. Um, and you know, I think I've walked away with a lot of gems here and I'm so looking forward to continuing my journey here and um, moving on to bigger and better things. Like I got some stuff cooking now, y'all. I got some things, some plans, some things happening, moving in motion. So you're gonna see some changes in me and in how I move, for sure. <laughs> so just so you know, I'm not around, I'm, sit I'm not sitting around just enjoying the beach, but I'm working hard. You guys know I have my NGO. You know now that I'm working at a school. Um, I'm not sure how long I'll do it, but 
for now that's where I'm at I'm enjoying it and um, life is good life is truly it's good it's good I've met some great people wonderful people I've made great acquaintances and um, I've traveled a lot of Ghana guys I've traveled a lot of Ghana most of Ghana actually I still have some traveling to do so look out for that it's coming actually in April I should be doing some more traveling um, and I'm excited about that but I have literally I've been all the way up north to all the way down south so um, and a lot of in between yeah <laughs> so I'm gonna revisit some places too um, yeah and I'm gonna take you along with me and um, yeah it's been amazing amazing <laughs> Yes, so two years here, and that is how I feel. Okay, um, one thing too, though, I'm homesick. I will say that I am homesick. I am homesick. Um, this is not the first time I felt homesick, but now I really feel homesick. It's been so long. Um, and honestly, the only reason that I've stayed away so long is, is due to COVID. Um, but I'm going home, guys. I'm going home soon and very soon. I'm planning now. <laughs> I'm getting my ticket. So I'm excited about that. And you will definitely be going along with me when I go. So just stay tuned. <laughs> it's going to be great. It's going to be an amazing reunion between my family and my friends. They miss me. I miss them too. So I'm, I'm super excited. I can't wait. So yeah, that's coming. That's definitely coming. Yeah. Sorry. All right. So guess what guys? Nappy is here with me. So come and join me, Nappy. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, ah. guys? It's your boy, Andy B B I E to the world. So now if I say it to the world, you have to say it to the world. <laughs> really? If you say it to me, I'll say it to the world. Wow. <laughs> yes, now we are going to the world. We're going yeah. to the world now. Everybody, everybody's to the world. <laughs> to the world. <laughs> okay. That's hilarious. Mm. All right. Mm. Yeah. So, uh, Nappy's <laughs> enjoying this good strawberry tea as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's yeah. nice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I am mm -hmm. still celebrating <laughs> two years of being in Ghana. <laughs> it's smart. <laughs> <laughs> How do you think I've adjusted? Uh, all right, so um, I'll start by saying how you've been going out because so many people come in here and it's okay not i'll not use only ghana but like when you travel outside the country mm -hmm. there's so many times so many people need so much help as mm -hmm. in going out they really need someone to go with them mm -hmm. uh, a mm -hmm. local to go with them but you have been able to do it by yourself mm -hmm. and even come out late mm -hmm. go and come <laughs> And you get you also try to get on the trotro and you know the yeah. names of cities here in Ghana are so difficult, especially well <laughs> okay, Don't I'll, test me because right. I'll okay, be also, like basically. I'll mess it up today. <laughs> you know it. <laughs> so basically, yes, you've been doing well with that and it's like hundred percent for you on that. Yes, and um with the language, I don't know if it's me or you who is not trying. Oh! <laughs> yes, you've tried, you've tried, like sometimes now you get what people say, you understand it, but you can't say it. So it's like when people are having conversation, mm -hmm. like, oh, did the person say this? I'll be like, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. So it's like it goes into your ears, but it can't come out of your mouth. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah. That's usually. When you're learning a different language that's like the first thing that happens yeah. is you you start understanding what people are saying but, but me, you can't speak yeah but for me i just go to sleep and it comes to me hey. <laughs> yeah so that i'll give you 40 percent <laughs> oh the language oh because you're trying you can't say but you can listen so how important do you think it is for me to learn trees yes, it's it's kind of important because um for you you like cooking a lot and you know whenever you go to the market most of our market women don't speak english yeah and it's mostly chi 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 but you are so lucky that 
most of our items are pronounced in English. Mm -hmm. So when you go, so like you want rice, rice mm -hmm. in Chi is emo. Mm -hmm. But when you go, you say meto rice, like mm -hmm. I want to buy rice, they know what rice is. Mm -hmm. So you are lucky about that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, most of our items, like food items, are said in English. Yeah. Yes, so right it's so important or point point and pray that was all that's my whole <laughs> everywhere i go yeah it's always on the display so you point and they know what you want yes yeah, so with that too i mean so it's, it's very important. important for you to learn it yeah key, especially when you're going to such places yeah yeah i mean but i also course. have you too so you know i can yeah when i'm yeah. not around because most of the times <laughs> you go out by yourself yeah yeah Sometimes, and um, yeah. yeah and yeah you keep asking me about directions and all that but you still get it so that's yeah. good but you are, the language should be the first yeah so um, with the language guys so we've tried the whole him being my teacher thing and that you know it was okay mm -hmm. it's okay you don't you did well like, i think you don't even, speak I, I ask you to, to speak to me in tree a lot and you don't mm -hmm. and i don't know why but you just won't do it like even if it's simple things like at the end, you know, you, you you won't do it. I don't know why. I don't know why myself. <laughs> <laughs> that would help. Yeah. But it's cool. We've tried that. I need a teacher. Yeah. I need a private. I, I prefer having a, I a private tutor. Remember the comment section, someone said you were doing well, but you need to go to school. Yeah. Yeah. yeah a lot of people were telling me to, to go to University of Ghana, right? <laughs> so a, a, in a class setting, I don't think that that's going to be for me. No, it would never help. So I think for me, I want a private tutor. Um, the best way to learn a language is from the streets. Because that's where everyone says everything. You it's know? true, but I'm in the streets and I'm not learning. You're learning from the market, you're learning from, you know. I'm learning some things, but I mean, like I need to know grammar, um, you know, everything, the right. basics, right? right? So if you know someone or if you are willing to tutor me, mm. leave a message or contact me, let me know. Mm. I'm definitely willing to learn. She's ready to pay. I'm ready to pay. <laughs> <laughs> that should be the first thing that people say. Exactly, coming. right. Yeah. <laughs> I'm ready to pay, I'm ready to learn. So let's do this. Help me out guys. Give me some, send some people my way or Give you, me some. You, you come my way. <laughs> <Something>. <laughs> Yeah. Um, so what about Ewe or Ewe, right? Mm. So how important do you think it is for me to learn? Like that's your language, that's your man. How important do you think it is? Hmm. It's very important and <laughs> <laughs> all right, because we are dating and you should meet my family, at least you need to know how to say the greetings, the thank you, the welcome, you know, the basic yeah. ones you need to learn it. That's it. So it's uh, very important. So I met them, but I just speak English. And yeah, lucky for you, <laughs> I speak English. So. <laughs> but so like, so like, will they look at me like, she needs to learn away. No, 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 no. You don't think they would think that? Like, no. honestly, and that's okay no. if they do, like, but... <laughs> they would never look at you that way. So, honestly, they would never disturb you with a language. Like, you need to learn. Mm -hmm. But they'll be wild when you say one thing. Okay, they'll be happy about right. it. Right. You mean, okay. Okay. But like, how did she learn it? Like, that's good. And it ends there. Okay. You know? Mm -hmm. So, they're not, they not going to force you to learn it. Yeah. But when you come out of the blue and say something mm -hmm. in LA, yeah, be so pleased to hear. Yeah. So it's a it's a way to impress. Yeah. So I can do this, guys. I can do this. So at one. Let's say in two years now, she has been able to reach about seventy five percent of the two years here. Mm. Mm. Reach okay. what? Your your level about language living. Okay. And yeah. So like about social life here, everything put together, you've reached about 75% mm -hmm. of it mm -hmm. out of the two years. Okay. Yeah, All right, so Nappy has been doing the Daniel's Fast with me. Oh. 
I honestly, guys, I did not think he was gonna make it. I was like, it's no way he's gonna make it. He don't eat vegetables. He don't do none of that. How's he gonna do this fast? And so seriously, like, he was like, he just jumped on board like, yeah, let's do it. I'm like, are you sure? Are you gonna be okay? And so um, he's been good. He has not complained, not one single time in 25 days so far. Me, I'm complaining all the time. I'm literally. <laughs> she knows how I eat. I don't, I don't really eat in the morning. I always eat in the afternoon most of the times. So most of my food that I eat is not what she eats. And I'm not privileged to get them because she doesn't eat, she doesn't take porridge. Yeah. And in our local, in fact, in our homes, as a Ghanaian in our homes, that's what we mostly eat in the morning, in the morning. Yeah. porridge. And yeah, you wake up, you work, work, work. By the time you realize, it's afternoon already. So you need to eat like heavy lunch mm -hmm. and then dinner is light. So you understand? So mostly we don't really eat like, so now I'm, I'm taking the porridge sometimes, oatmeal, cornmeal porridge, and um, Tom Brown, if you're Ghanaian, no Tom Brown. Yes, that's what I've been eating most of the time. So um, she'd be doing um, granola and some nuts and Fruit. honey and fruits mm. sometimes. One. She has uh, salad to make, yeah. So for me, I don't, I'm not a salad type of person. Uh, well, me neither. I hate um, salad actually to be. I love, <laughs> I, <do>. <laughs> <laughs> I love heavy foods, mm -hmm. like heavy breakfast, light lunch, um, mm. heavy lunch and light dinner Yeah. sometimes. Yeah, so that's it. That's why I'm, I'm adjusting. It's, it's kind of easy. I think so. Yeah, I don't feel, like I don't, cause the first time you told me, um, oh, you shouldn't feel hungry before you eat. I can just go a day without eating, and I'll not mm. feel hungry. Oh, you know, wow. yeah. Okay. So I can wow. be, yeah, I can be just drinking water and I'll be fine. Wow. Yeah. So it's 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 more. It's kind it's of, an African uh, thing, I guess. I don't know yeah, me. <laughs> yeah, we've been through it. We've been through it before. So yeah, we just take it like that. Salad is like yeah. a dessert for Africa, you know. <laughs> yeah, salad is not a meal. <laughs> if, uh, if you bring a salad to me, you're just giving me like, you know, we eat salad with the whole meal. Like, salad on the salad is like on the side. side. Yeah. yeah, a lot of people do. Yeah, the salad is a side dish. Yeah, sure. But um, all the same, it's it's kind of a good thing. It's the first time, and I like it in a way I, because of, of, I feel more energized. Yeah. I don't feel tired easily. Yeah. And yeah. Yeah. I've been sweating it off all the time. <laughs> sweating right now. <laughs> well, if that was the case, then I'd really be as much as I sweat. Mm. Mm. Yeah. But yeah. So well, yeah. you're looking good. I know you're feeling good. And you've done my, well. My you've done well. I smell my cheeks to use the cup of my face. So you're, you, you feel that? That's crazy. Today I was just saying that I put my hand on my face i was at work and i was like oh it's thinner like mm. i could tell like my face is thin down small and my pictures like oh big chicks huh yeah it's good it's been good it's shiny so yeah it just i recommend it for everyone man just eat fruit salad i mean gra <laughs> grass grass <laughs> Fruit and vegetables. Yeah, vegetables yeah. So you've been eating more vegetables. Yeah, He's been eating more vegetables, guys. It's been good. Lemon, no oils or limit your oils to olive oil. Yeah, olive oil, oil and, and coconut, coconut oil. oil. And the coconut oil should be something small in your food. Yeah. yeah. So it's basically like light oils. That's mm -hmm. it. And eat more sorghums, mm -hmm. legumes, mm -hmm. cereals. Mm -hmm. and That's what I've been up to. That's what he's been up to, somewhat. We're gonna travel, hopefully. <laughs> in April, yeah. Yeah, so we're definitely gonna travel in April around Ghana, but I'm talking about outside of Ghana. We wanna go to Nigeria. Oh, okay, mm-hmm. So hopefully um, we'll be planning that. Mm. Let's see what comes up. Nigeria! That's <laughs> what we're planning, guys, so. I'm on Nigeria, we did come, we did come. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, thank you guys for watching um, and Much sticking love, around. Support. Yeah, I'm gonna be. I've, I've got like 
a lot of stuff as far as YouTube is concerned um, in the works right now. I'm planning and doing some videos, shooting some stuff for you, some quality stuff. I want to give you some more inspirational stories um, during this time. I, that's just what I'm feeling. So you'll get some travel stuff and you'll get some inspirational stories. And um, I think that you'll enjoy it. So it's coming soon, soon, soon. As it's coming soon, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell to get notification anytime she's posting a video. Yes. And enjoy it. The first person to enjoy will be you. Yeah. <laughs> That's really important too because yeah. if I don't post like every week, every two weeks, I'm not going to promise that I'm going to do that, but I'm definitely going to be posting more. But if you hit the bell, then you'll know when I post. So if it has been a little while, then at least you'll get the notification. All right. All right, we're gonna see you guys on the other side. Bye-bye.